Here is a demonstration of bringing a point cloud into Revit 2014. I will start a new project, go to a 3D view, and I will go to the Insert tab, Point Cloud, and give it a Point Cloud file name. In this case, it is an RCS, which was exported from Recap. And I will go origin to origin. Hit open. And then zoom to fit. There it is. What can I do with it once it is in Revit? Well, the first thing that might be good to do is to select it and type PN for pin so I don't accidentally move it. And now, its origin is somewhere out in space with the rest of my scan, so let's take and adjust our level 1 to where the floor is in the scan. And I should probably do a section because it will be easier to see it, and I'll just delete level 2. So I'll go to level 1 and I can move my elevation mark a little bit and let me do a section of this area that I want to see to make sure I get my floor line, my level lined up right. And here's my level and I'll zoom in a little here and nudge it. Looks pretty good and I can pin that level too, probably a good idea. Let's look at the floor plans here. And all I'm seeing right now is a section and the scan. Now it looks like the scan, not everything's showing. The floor isn't particularly flat. It has higher and lower areas. I'm pretty close with my level, but I think I will just change my view range a little bit and go minus six feet and minus six feet so I can see a little bit below the level. And there it is. Now I could keep on working with this and tracing it into Revit elements, but I'm just going to do the minimum because what we have here is a place where a tank used to be. I cut the points out in recap and I want to put four smaller tanks in that area and document it. How could I do that? Well, one thing, I can look at a nice section box of my level one here. And let me do that by taking my view, duplicating it, and doing orient to view, and floor plan level one. Go back to the home tab, home button there. And there it is with the section box cut to mimic what level one is seeing. And I could also, after I have that, I could just bring that even further down to my level, to the place where I'm interested in, which is this area here. And spin it around and take a look what I have. some tanks here and I have some components that I'd like to put in and I'll just drag and drop that into my Revit and there it is and I'll go to level one and move it to where I want it to be and copy it take 
those and I'll copy those. I'm going to have four tanks where the old big tank was. All right, and there is a view that I might want to use for documentation. Turn off the section box and I can print that or do a screen capture of that however I want to present it. I'll just do a screen capture with my screen capture software here. Alright, what else can I do? How about a walkthrough? I'll go back to my level one. And I can go view and walk through. And I can just go here and show maybe where we might go when we're putting the tanks in. I can open up that walkthrough view and make make it a little bit more wide angle. Zoom to fit and go edit walkthrough. I can go back and I can even go and play before I export such a walkthrough. Presumably if I export this to an AVI the point clouds will come in a bit denser. This is just because it's moving really fast on the screen. That's pretty good. And I can do things like that. So, it's looking good. What else can I do with the point cloud? Let me go back to my section box 3D view. I can look at it with some different aspects of the points. If I go to my visibility graphics override, I can change the color mode to say intensity. Elevation. In this case, obviously, RGB looks the best. That was a demonstration of using point clouds in Revit with just a little modeling and the rest seeing the point clouds as they are. And here is it in plan also.